Another way of combating SQL injection is to use prepared statements. Prepared statements remove any danger of user input interfering with the logic of the SQL query because the SQL query logic and the user input are sent along separate channels to the database. They also escape special characters such as the single quote mark, so you don't need to use real escape string with them. Let's learn how to use them. First, edit login.html so that the form action tag points to a new file called display prep stmt.php display prepared statement. Then copy display.php and name the copy display prep stmt.php. Open up this new file in Komodo Edit. Much of the code is the same as the previous version, so we can reuse a lot of it. We connect and set the username exactly as before. We no longer need to escape the input, so you can delete that and set password back to what it was, simply the raw post value. We can delete the echo statements for the username and password. They will be exactly as we enter them. They will be escaped later, before they go into the SQL query. Delete the SQL query and the line following it, where we assign the result. After that we have the table and table header, that's exactly as before. And below that, inside the PHP tags, we need to delete the existing while loop. And so I've deleted the closing PHP tag, so put that back. We start out by giving the object a name. I'll call it $STMT. Then equals, and then the prepare method, operating on the $DB database object. And inside the prepare methods parentheses, we put the SQL query that we want to prepare. Again, inside double quotes. This is the same as before, except instead of putting the user variables straight into the query, we replace them with question marks. So we have $STMT equals $DB forward arrow prepare. Inside double quotes, select star from test DB, where name equals question mark. Ampersand, ampersand, password equals question mark. Now we need to specify what to replace those question marks with, and we do this by binding parameters to the statement. The two parameters we need are username and password, both of which are string variables. We bind parameters using the method bind underscore param, working on $STMT. And inside the parentheses, we specify the variables we want to use. But before the variables, we have to specify the data type for each of them. We do this using a series of one-letter codes, each one corresponding to the variable in that position. So, for example, if we wanted to pass an ID number, which is an integer, a username and a password, both of which are strings, we would use ISS. The i in the first position corresponding to the first variable, the integer. And then the s in second position corresponding to the second variable. And then the last s in third position corresponding to the third variable. We need just two variables, and both of them are strings. So we start with ss in single quotes. And then add the two variables, username and password. And they have to be separated by commas. After that, we need to use bind result to link the statement to the database fields. Again, this is a method and it operates on $STMT. And inside the parentheses, we need to put in the order that they appear in the MySQL database variables corresponding to all the database fields. It's vital that all the database columns are included and that they're in the right order as they appear in phpMyAdmin. So open up phpMyAdmin now and check the order of the columns in the database, which we can see are in order, ID, then name, then password, and then secrets. And then you have to enter them in exactly the same order 
inside the parentheses for bind result. Then we execute the prepared statement using $STMT and then the arrow execute and its parentheses. Displaying the results is easier than the previous method. As before, we open a while loop and then the loop is built using the fetch method. So inside the parentheses, we put $STMT forward arrow fetch in its parentheses. Close off the PHP. So now we're writing plain HTML. So we have our opening and closing TR tags for table row. And then inside each row, we return four table cells. And inside the table cells, we switch to PHP and echo the variables that we want to display. So PHP echo dollar ID. And we do that for all four cells. After that, open PHP and close off the while loop. Close PHP and end the table. Open PHP again and close the prepared statement. And close PHP again. And that's done. We now have a bulletproof way of guarding against SQL injection. Let's put it to the test. First of all, we will try a matching username and password. Press login and we get their users records. If we delete the username and try our injection trick again and we get nothing. In the next chapter, we'll put prepared statements to use in our project to display data from the favorite movies database.